Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you're returning and welcome to Makeup Monday. Woohoo, I am back. This is my second week and I'm here with a full colorful look okay i asked you guys on instagram to vote on what look you guys wanted to see did you want to see colorful did you want to see a warm or a cool tone and obviously colorful one i wanted to recreate this look that i saw on the page of M -M -M mitchell on instagram if you don't follow him he is a huge i think uk makeup artist he has his own makeup line which i've never bought anything and now I definitely I definitely want to buy some things because I am obsessed with the way this look turned out. It's very bright, very colorful, very spring appropriate. I do have to say that this look is definitely a little bit more challenging, so maybe not so much beginner friendly, but I will have obviously more looks that will be a little more toned down and not so crazy and not so intri intricate, intricate, intricate. I think that's the right word <laughs> but anyways i love the way this look turned out i hope you guys enjoy it as well um i did not film my face because this look was so time consuming and hello i am a mom i just can't sit here all day and film a full face beat not today but if you subscribe to my channel tuesdays or not tuesdays wednesdays and fridays i usually upload a full face tutorial so make sure you check those out make sure you give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already Grab your cafecito and let's go ahead and start with this very colorful makeup look. All right, you guys, we're going to start off by priming the lids. No surprise here what I'm using. NYX Ultimate Shadow and Liner Primer. It's just the best. If you guys know of anything better than this, definitely let me know in the comments because I do like to try new things, but then again, it's like, ugh. I love my next primer. I just cannot use anything else. So we're going to go ahead and pack that. And then we're going to move on to the eyeshadow palette. Today we're using the Be Perfect Cosmetics Carnival Extra Large Palette. This is in collaboration with Stacey Marie. I'm going to take the shade Reckless. This is a really deep plum shade. And I'm going to take that in a Beach Cosmetics Weekend Vibes brush. I don't know if they still have this brush set. If they do, I will have it linked down below. This is another amazing brush set that you can get. Super affordable. But I'm packing that all over into the crease, into the lowest part. You always want to take any dark shade to the darkest part of your lid slash crease. Right where your eye socket is, that's where you want to pack all this color. Honestly, the picture that I saw from Mama Mama Mitchell... I wasn't sure of the colors, so I just kind of winged it. I'm going to go back into the palette and pick up the shade Persuasion. It's right below Reckless, and it's also purple. I don't know if this color really did anything, but I went with it because I was like, okay, you know, I need a color to blend out that deep plum, and Persuasion looked like just the perfect shade to mix together. So we're going to blend those out, and this brush right here is from AOA, which is from Shop Miss A, and it's like a dollar or something. Now I'm going to take the shade Lit. This is a really bright neon orange. It doesn't look as neon on camera, but I promise you it's really bright. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to start mixing the colors. Once you start layering, you will see that the colors will give you a different color, if that makes sense. But I just like to apply that into the upper crease and then go back with a bigger blending brush and start blending it out. I didn't get a clip of this, but I also took the shade Keen, which is a yellow. And I apply that to the top layer of the lid. This is really going to create that beautiful like sunset look. And then I went back with a Reckless, which is that beautiful burgundy, and just re-emphasized it. Once you blend all your colors, you just want to go back and look at your work and just kind of see where you need more colors. Sometimes when you blend, you lose some saturation. So this is when I go back and just re-amp the colors. So I took a little bit of Reckless and then a little bit of Persuasion and just re-intensified those colors since I did lose a little bit during blending. Now I'm going to go into my favorite hack. You already know I'm taking my lash curler, 
with a little bit of concealer. I do recommend to use a thicker concealer. I was using this one by Maybelline and I found myself having to go back a few times and like reapply the concealer because it's a little bit more of a thinner consistency. Now we are going to clean up the lid. I usually don't do this trick, but I really wanted the lid to have its true colors. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take a makeup remover. This one is by Woma, I believe that's how you pronounce it. You can find it at Walmart and it's an oil-based facial cleanser. And then I'm going to take the Beauty Creations, um, what is this, a primer base in the shade Whiteout, I believe. I'm going to tap that all over the lids. I really want the colors on the lid to pop and really be true to themselves. So for me, a white base was just the best way to go. You can always just match the shades of your base to the eyeshadows, but that was very time consuming and I did not want to do that. So a white shade for me was the easiest way to go. I'm going to go back with Reckless, which was that gorgeous deep burgundy shade, and I'm going to apply that to the outer corner. Same thing as I usually do with all my half cut creases. I take my time and really packing them on. And then I'm going to take the shade Wasted. Wasted is a beautiful like grape color. It's so pretty and these are so pigmented you guys like a little goes such a long way and I'm going to pack it right next to Reckless. I really wanted the purple to pop and then I didn't get a shot of this one as well. I'm so sorry but I took the shade Funky which is just a neon hot pink. Whatever color you have apply that you can blend that with Wasted, which is that purple color, and it's going to give you such a beautiful fade. We're going to blend and blend and blend, and then we're going to go back and pack, and I'm going to make sure that the two colors are going really nicely against each other. Now I'm going to take the shade Foolish. Foolish is a really pretty, like, creamsicle orange, but again, keep in mind that these are all very neon-y, so they might look a little bit different. And I took that more towards the center, and blended with the funky which was the pink last but not least I went back with the yellow which is keen and I applied that to the inner corner just to kind of finish off the brightness in the eyes I'm gonna go back with my favorite brush this one is from Colourpop from the Bare Necessities collection and I took Reckless and Persuasion and I just really went in there into the crease to make sure that it was nice and sharp you want to take your time doing this because if you overdo it it's hard to blend and then I went back with a small little Morphe brush and just blended the edges so it didn't look too harsh but it looks sharp hopefully that makes sense <laughs> Now I'm going to take an eyeliner. This one is from LA Colors. I don't remember the name, but again, I will have a list down below. I don't know how I feel about these. They are very pigmented, as you can see, and the color is beautiful, but they tend to get a little bit waxy if you go back a few times. For the inner corner, I'm taking the shade Ecstasy. This one is such a gorgeous neon green and up against the blue you guys it looks so pretty and then i took a little bit of the shade fair play which is just a shimmering white because i want this to be a little more um like a highlighting color versus a matte and then i'm going to go back with the shade wasted on the lower lash line as well as showboat which is a turquoise and I applied those to the lower lash line to just completely finish off the look. And I did go back with a little bit more of Ecstasy, which is that neon green, and applied it to the inner part of the lower lash line. We're going to prep the lashes with some mascara. This is the Maybelline mascara. Obviously, you can use whatever you have. This is just what I had. And then for my lashes, I went with the Style Hollywood by Lily Lashes. For my lip liner and lipstick, I am using LA Girl Maple Glaze and I am also using the Rem Beauty Matte Lipstick in Bubbly.
Girl, oh my goodness. I have been sitting here for, I don't even know how long it's been now, just blending my little heart away, adding, and wow, this look definitely took me a long time to film, but I am so obsessed. I love this. I am so glad that I did this look because honestly, like I think this is probably the prettiest look I've done in a long time. It's just perfection and it's bright, it's colorful, it's bold, and I am totally here for it. What do you guys think? I really like it. I really like it. I hope you guys recreate it. If you do, tag me on Instagram so I can show you some love. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for Makeup Mondays every Monday. And my child just woke up from a three hour nap. So I am gonna go ahead and get him. I love you guys, stay safe. And until next time, I will see you all in my next video. Bye.